It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management. As I often say, when it comes to the markets, time passes and markets and the economy operate. And neither cares how you feel or cares what you think. And here we are once again in earnings season with JP Morgan kicking things off with fourth quarter profit and revenue exceeding Wall Street estimates once again. On top of that this week, investors finally got a peek at the much anticipated stimulus proposal named the American Rescue Plan. Now, the $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief proposal was largely in line with what investors had been anticipating and would be rivaled only in size by the previous $2.2 trillion CARES Act of last spring. Whether or not the package actually gets passed as proposed is a near-term headwind for the financial markets. On the week, most indices still hovered near record all-time highs, but in the case of emerging markets and small company stocks represented by the Russell 2000, they made new, fresh 52-week highs and continue to be the front runners for 2021 and continue, based on recent data, to be underowned and undervalued relative to other asset classes. Now, with $4.3 trillion of cash still sitting on the sidelines, perhaps this situation could change very quickly. Now, stocks aren't the only market rising. Interest rates continue to rise, with the 10-year Treasury yield pushing through 1% for the first time since last March, and now yields 1.1% as I record this update. Alongside rising rates have been rising commodity prices. Things like corn, soy meal, copper, and oil continue to make 52-week highs almost on a daily basis. Is the Federal Reserve finally going to see inflation rise to its targets? Well, only time will tell. Meanwhile, in spite of rates rising on intermediate and long-term bonds, the Federal Reserve still has short-term rates pegged through at least 2023. And that combination of liquidity and growth is a powerful tonic for the stock market. Now, for those of you who choose to time these moves in inflation, in stocks, in interest rates, and even currencies, the best advice I can give you comes from Terry Smith, the CEO of the company Fundsmith, who says there are two types of investors, those who can't time the markets and those who don't know they can't time the markets. Now, if you're sitting there wondering what to do next, or if you want a strategy that doesn't require timing the market, well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? My son, Ryan, and I have 65 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you need to do to get a fresh start in 2021 is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.